We've done a lot of work on what you might call the landscape of fear. So trying to understand whether mountain lions fear people and if they do fear people, how that affects their movement on the landscape. But then we also ask, well, how does the physical landscape compare to the fear landscape or the landscape of fear in influencing how many calories these animals burn? And so what we've shown is that mountain lions do indeed fear people. We've put playback equipment at their kill site. When they come to feed, they hear the sounds of either people talking conversationally like we are, or frogs. And when they hear the frogs, they don't care. When they hear people, they like bolt immediately. In Libya, using our arms. And so one of the big impacts of this landscape of fear that we show on mountain lions is that they move less overall and they have smaller home ranges. So it's a fairly striking result. The males that were, on average, moving in human-dominated landscape moved somewhere around 62% fewer kilometers per day compared to a, a more wildland cat and had up to 79% smaller home ranges compared to individuals that were experiencing very minimal human interaction. They're expending more energy we found up to 13% more calories per five minute period. And we are finding that they're killing more. So one, one question would be, are they hunting more in these areas? Mountain lions fear us, and that that fear has all kinds of impacts on their behavior and ecology, and ultimately potentially their populations and conservation. From a management perspective, one thing we need to think about is how our activity on the landscape also is impacting how animals are responding to humans there. So our reach is much larger than the physical location of the structures that we're actually building. If we continue to develop California the way we historically have, you know, we're going to lose these species.